Hey everyone, hope everyone's having a good week and survived the Fed. I'm gonna do a little video here on how to use these short-term balance ranges to trade. You can see, you know, we've been above, this is central time, uh, about 2100 hours central time. Market establishes a balance. You move off of it, so you just double the balance to get the target. All right, so this is a distribution zone of actually product from lower, but still, that 3987 area right here on profile here you got balance now this is where they are selling a little bit but also taking in product and when they take the market higher by shutting off supply you get distribution that's why you get your point of control moving up from here to here and you see a big 5700 contracts at that tick up in here where we were watching a trade in our London zoom I said, don't get involved in this, right? What you can do is once it breaks and comes back into this zone, you can start shorting that deviation there. So if you're initiating at 90, let's say you miss it, right? You're not going to hit it right away. Say you hit 97, 96s. Then you look for the 94, right? And what's at 94? There's a stop, right? And then as soon as the market keeps taking those stops, you could stay short coming back into VWAP and the bottom of your balance. Now, right here is where all the shorts are going to come covered. Why? Because it's the bottom of the cost basis of the size traders. They had a cost basis. They spent time acquiring it, sold it. Point of control moves up. When the point of control comes down, then you'll know we have absorbed the sellers who are trapped above 39.95 down here. Overnight inventory trading is how and why markets are moved. The market moves because of inventory being moved. No other reason. It allows the traders who took product in at cheaper prices at the end of the day yesterday, right? Think of these are all the old donuts that we didn't sell. Put a little sprinkle of sugar on them and sell them for a profit. When we run out of buyers over 96, we sell the market right back down to where we paid for it. We stop the shorts come in right where the stops are and start bidding to cover, buy to cover, right? When that happens, it starts soaking up the supply of the selling. So whether you're using a TPO or a candlestick chart, this is just a one minute candle. You can trade very nicely off this. You know, what? so if you miss the trade of the short here or down here, there's still a nice trade when we look below 87 and come back up to VWAP, 87 to 89, right? The short of VWAP right back down to the bottom of balance, right? The log right now, right? So there are a number of smaller trades for newer traders who are practicing. And then once you get to know this, then you can start waiting and shorting when we look above and fail. Don't short this look above. Wait till it looks above and fails and comes back in. Give up this real estate, right? Give up the trade location for better odds of the trade happening, right? Because as soon as this market comes down, it takes out that low and that low on the one minute, the people that are long here start to liquidate and that's what's happening. Now, if it's real selling, we'll break this balance and we'll double this balance to the downside to get a target if there's liquidation, right? So this is really simple. All you're doing is you're taking these balance zones and you're copying them, right? And that's all we're doing, right? So we could take trades off the edges of this. You don't have to capture the entire move, which is, it kind of helps if you're a newer trader and you don't have 400 grand to trade with you know, at really, really sophisticated execution, you know, that's what it takes to capture these larger moves or a lot of discipline in years in, right? Now you could trade this, you could make 15, 16 points just taking these trades here, four or five points here, four or five points there. You do a couple of trades before you know it. Now, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's doable and we have people doing it right now. Trade for a living, make an income without killing yourself on the risk side, right? Then you can be 
the couple on the sailboat after the market closes, right? Like in the commercials. <laughs> All right, folks. Trade safe out there. There's lots of good trading. I'm JJ. Come see us at microefutures.com. Bye for now.